Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make these graduation themed chocolate covered strawberries. To start off, I'm going to pick out the biggest and best shaped strawberries and make sure that they aren't too beaten up or squishy to make sure that they're gonna taste good. Then I'm going to thoroughly rinse them, including under the leaves. Next up, you wanna make sure that your strawberry is completely dry, otherwise the chocolate will not properly stick to the strawberry. Once they're all dry, I'm placing the strawberries in three rows of four. This is a 12 box and I'm arranging them in the way I want. I usually do the biggest strawberries in the middle row and then try and do similar sizes for each row. So usually the bigger ones on the end, smaller ones in the middle of the rows. For chocolate, I usually use Ghirardelli melting wafers, but here I'm using Sweet Tooth Fairy Meltables from Michaels in red and black. I microwave these in two 30 second intervals, mixing in between. And for this meltable, I'm using a little bit of oil, mixing it in just because I want a smoother consistency. But for the yellow chocolate, I am using the Ghirardelli and I'm using a yellow candy color. You wanna make sure that your food coloring that you use with chocolate is candy color. You can't use gel because it needs to be oil based in order to properly mix in with the chocolate. Moving on to dipping the strawberries, I put a wooden skewer into my strawberry and I pull back the leaves and hold it on the skewer. That way when I'm shaking off the excess chocolate, it is not too aggressive on the leaves to rip them off. I then dip my strawberry into this tall glass, make sure it is wide enough and long enough. I go ahead and dip in and I'm bouncing it up and down to remove any air bubbles shaking off the excess and then I scrape it a little bit on the glass just to remove any excess so that when I place it on to my silicone sheet it doesn't have a big puddle at the bottom and these silicone sheets are also great because it's super easy to take the strawberry off once it's dry. These number molds are from Amazon and I'm taking white chocolate in a bag to pour it all into the mold shaking it to flatten it out and then putting it in the fridge. Now I'm taking this graduation mold I got from a local baking shop and taking a little bit of red, putting it in the middle of the diploma and then once that's fully dry, I'm adding in white chocolate, flattening it out, getting all the bubbles out and once again, putting it in the fridge. For the hats, I'm using just the black chocolate and then I'm going to paint a gold line for the tassel, which I forgot to film but I will show you soon how to do the gold. Here are my numbers. They have little knobs because the mold is so you can put a stick up there for a cake, but I'll cut that off later. For the gold, I'm using this gold luster dust from Amazon, putting a little in a bowl and adding some vodka. I put it in the top to control how many drops. You want a consistency that you can paint with, but you don't want it to be too liquidy, otherwise it won't paint on well. So here I'm just dabbing it onto the number and painting all of it so that it is covered with gold. You can add a second coat if you want, but I try to make a consistency where I can cover it pretty well with one coat. Here I'm cutting off that little knob on the number. And then with your other pieces of chocolate, sometimes when you take them out the mold, the edges have little extra chocolate so you can cut that off. And I also recommend you cut any excess off the back so it's flat and easy to glue onto the strawberry. To stick these pieces onto your berry, you're going to take some chocolate the same color as whichever color berry you're putting it on, on the back of your chocolate, and then you're just going to hold it onto the strawberry for a little bit and it'll stay. To finish, I put the berries in white cupcake liners in a box with shredded paper. And here's the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!